everyone, Jesse again with uh, Idaho Homesteading. Wanted to do a video on the drain plug for the aquaponic system. This is a one inch banjo fitting off Amazon. I'll link to it in the show notes, um, but it can just connect to a one inch male PVC fitting, um, male adapter. So all you need to get this into the aquaponic system is it's going to go right there. Um, I need a two and one quarter inch hole saw. I'll also link to that in the show notes. Um, this is a pretty cheap one off Amazon. It's just cut through plastic, so it doesn't need to be too strong. Uh, but we'll go ahead and make that cut. If I can put this on there. And once we get the drain plug in, we can go ahead and put in all the piping that we need. Um, so you just want to think about placement. Um, the drain plug should be on one of the corners. You don't want it right in the middle because basically you'll have the fill plug on one side or the fill uh, inlet pipe and then the water should go to the other side or the opposite corner generally so that it can drain out the other side. So um, we'll just put this in this corner right here and I just want to kind of verify that's going to have enough room. I'll just kind of center it. Clean up a little bit. So this is a uh, the uh, banjo drain plug, and it's counterclockwise. So that when it's tightening, it'll if you're tightening something on there, it will tighten. So we'll go ahead and just screw that in there, push it down. this piece on the bottom. Counterclockwise. I'll tighten that up as best as I can. If you had a big plier, set of plier, lockjaw pliers, it should uh work, but generally hand tight works. So then I have the one inch male adapter that I'll screw into that. And from here we'll put a section of pipe and a 90. So that you'll basically have it like this pipe will go out a little bit and then we'll do another 90 down and that's your drain pipe. You want a couple inches just so that has some force to get out. So that's uh, that's how you install the drain pipe on this and I'll do another video later on. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone wanted to do the video on the stand-up pipe. So this is the stand-up pipe. Um, this is a two inch PVC with a two inch cap and it sits on top of that banjo fitting that we just installed and at the bottom of it I did about a uh, all these drilled all these holes in there and basically what that does is as the water is filling up this tank it'll start filling from the bottom of this pipe and as soon as it hits this level, it's going to start the suction. And the water will start a suction all the way down to the very bottom of that, where those holes are. And so it'll just keep doing that um, back and forth. 
and it'll drain out there back into the fish tank. So you just kind of have to adjust how quickly the water will flow into this, but that's the overall idea of it and it works pretty well. So in this case, we have these three pieces. And so this is a another one inch male fitting. This is a one inch PVC pipe. And this one's about 12 inches or so. Like I said, you can make it any height depending on how big your container is. This could be just a couple inches or I think this one's about 12 inches or so. And then this pipe, um, it doesn't really matter how much extra you have in there or whatnot. So this is about an inch and a half higher than the stand pipe and it just sits on there. Um, I don't glue anything. I don't glue down here. Everything has a pretty good seal and if it was to leak, I will place this so that it's over the fish tank. On the bottom side, I went ahead and added the other pieces. Um, down here, I might just add some pipe tape around this to get a, a good seal because this these fittings are pretty loose. Um, let me adjust that. So we just have a uh, one inch PVC male threaded uh, right here. It's going into our banjo fitting, uh, probably about a two to three inch PVC pipe. And we just need to make that 90 degree turn to about a six inch pipe to another 90 degree elbow. So this will drain back into the fish tank. And I'm going to make some cuts to this. I think this overall tank is a little bit too high, so I'll trim it down by a couple inches. Um, that way I can get rid of this piece over here and also cut out some of that on that side. So I'll go ahead and do that and I can probably place this on top of the fish tank right now and um, it'll be ready pretty soon for fish.